We're here today in Sandy Hook, New Jersey, collecting some animals for our Hudson Home Gallery. We're going to be using a seine net, which has lead weights on the bottom and floats on the top. As we drag it along the bottom of the ocean, it's going to pick up any animals that may be there. We're going to collect these animals, bring them back to Liberty Science Center, and put them on display at our gallery in our Hudson Home. Unfortunately, we're not just finding fish and hermit crabs out here, but we're also finding a lot of trash, too. Plastic bottles, plastic bags, even paper cups can take years to degrade in the wild. And unfortunately, they end up in the digestive system of many different animals, such as shorebirds and sea turtles. So keep that in mind next time you see a piece of litter on the ground, and make sure that you reduce, reuse, and recycle everything in your home. Even if we don't find live horseshoe crabs on this trip, we have found molts, or evidence that they were here. Animals like this molt or shed their exoskeleton many times throughout their life in order to allow themselves to grow bigger. Kind of like how we buy new shirts when we get too big for our baby clothes. So in my hand here, I have tinafores, commonly known as comb jellies. If you encounter them in the wild, you may think that they are true jellies, but luckily they actually do not have stingers, which is why I'm able to hold them just like this. Liberty Science Center doesn't have any tinaforms part of their collection. So unfortunately, although we've caught many of them, we have released them back into the wild. 